All right, uh, time for a look at uh, Arts and Lifestyle. I'm sitting here uh, salivating over the new uh, iPad, right? Well, you got the big one. I, I got the big one. A lot of people are salivating. A lot of people are a bit skeptical as well. Of course, talking about the worst kept secret in consumer electronics, it revealed today Apple unveiled a smaller version of its iPad. This is iPad Mini. Now, the iPad Mini features an 8-inch screen that's 2 inches smaller than the iPad. It's also thinner and weighs about 50% less. The starting price for the Mini will be $329. And while Apple's original tablet is a market leader, there are questions whether this smaller version can compete. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Google, the guys who make the 7-inch tablets that are $200, they've really dodged a bullet today because at $329, the iPad mini is a lot more expensive. It really feels like a whole different class of device. The biggest surprise is that the screen is not one of those really high-res retina displays. It's just a regular 1024 by 768 screen, kind of like the first-generation iPad. Apple also unveiled a new, thinner version of its iMac desktop computer and laptop, along with a new, faster version of the larger iPad. Well, the tenors are returning to Victoria after performing a couple of songs at David Foster's Miracle Gala this summer. The quartet are staging a full concert at the Save on Foods Memorial Center on February 9th. May God bless and keep you always. Well, that's Port Yours McNeil's Clifton Murray in studio singing uh, Forever Young, a new song from the tenor's latest album, Lead With Your Heart, which features a mix of pop and classical music. The group has earned international acclaim since forming in Victoria in 2007. This island stop is part of a 70-city North American tour. Tickets go on sale next Friday at 10 a.m. And uh, you don't often hear taxes and fun mentioned in the same sentence, but today staff at the Victoria office of the Canada Revenue Agency spent the lunch hour entertaining. Well, we're people like anyone else. Uh, they can have a garage band uh, up their sleeve, and, and until you ask somebody to contribute their talent for the United Way, you never know. Yeah, this is footage from this morning's rehearsal for Canada Revenue Agency's Got Talent. The event at the Odeon in downtown Victoria included a panel of judges along with dancers, singers and musicians. It's part of the office's attempt to raise $50,000 for the United Way. Well, the latest film to uh, shoot around the capital region is Stonados. And today, the cast and crew of the TV movie were working in Victoria's Cook Street Village. Production trucks were lined up along Pendergast to shoot a scene inside a nearby house. Stonados is a disaster movie about a tornado of stones descending on Boston. It's written and directed by UVic grad Jason Bork. Its cast includes local actress and former Queers folk star Taya Gill. They will be filming at various locations over the next two weeks, including the Inner Harbor and UVic Centennial Stadium.